it definitely feels new at first and it feels wrong almost to call your teachers by their first names and instead of ma'am or sir. to Sweden about three years ago and I've been at the university for a year now and I wanted to study here because I love the city and I liked what they had to offer. There's definitely a big contrast in how we study in India and here. Um, coming from an Indian background our schools are very strict, they're very disciplined and they're very like there's a hierarchy between teachers and students and you are definitely a subordinate in that situation and here you definitely feel more like colleagues or even peers because we call our teachers by their first names and we talk to them about anything that comes to mind and discussions are very open to everybody in the classroom which was not the case where I come from it was very one-sided. We are expected to kind of be original in what we have to say and kind of provide a new take and a new perspective on what we're learning so it's definitely more involved and you definitely have to read and learn more because you're expected to contribute and participate in class. I think the study environment at the university forces one to kind of develop a sense of self in a new way like in class, um, nobody is going to pick on me and say, you tell me the answer. I have to say, I know this answer and I have something to say. So that was daunting at first because I'm a shy person, but eventually I just got comfortable with it and I kind of learned to recognize the fact that the teacher wants to know what I have to say and my opinion has weight and value in the classroom environment. So I'm able to kind of realize that as an adult, I have an opinion and it's worthwhile and worth sharing so it's definitely useful it helps you kind of be more self-assured in potential job situations well the informality of the Swedish classes is uh, quite natural to me I do feel it's a little bit weird when they call me professor uh, mainly because uh, uh, the way we work in classrooms is uh, it's very leisurely it's not informal as in we're chatting obviously there is structure there's all these things that we have uh, are meant to do there is the um, the part where we of course are authorities but it's uh, far more relaxed it, the, the seminars especially so that students can feel they can speak uh, sometimes when I have students from uh, countries where the hierarchies are so enforced for instance, so that the students don't dare to speak because they are afraid of speaking. They don't think they are supposed to ask questions or question anything or anyone or they feel maybe that they are not supposed to be a part of the conversation. I have experienced quite a lot of those cases where students actually come transformed. And by the end of the term, they have gone th from being very quiet, very reticent, to uh, actually being very participatory in the classes. And they feel more relaxed and just uh, voicing their opinions. Uh, so sometimes it's um, a faster process and sometimes it's a slow process. It depends on the students and where they come from, what they're used to. Because everyone becomes like a, a group, not someone who is taught, but someone who is a part of the teaching process. Mm -hmm.